Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ken over at Grom Audio, and today I'm in a 2017 Toyota Sienna SE, and we just got this new application for V-Line. So I'm gonna take the vehicle apart, and we're gonna install it, and we'll show you guys how it all works. So come check it out. So first off, I'm gonna take apart this upper dash panel right here. It pulls forward towards me, not up. So I'm gonna start from the from the side and just kind of work my way around the edges. So I got a plastic. Um, kind of body trim tool, interior trim tool. So I'm just gonna pry it up. Okay. Pull that towards me. Okay. And then now I'm gonna take the cluster surround off. I'm gonna start with the top, which is gently Pop it out. Okay. Just leave it on the side like so. Take off the shift knob. Okay. And then we should put the shifter in neutral just to get it out of the way. So for that, I have to turn on the car. Next we have to take this trim off, so I'm going to start by just working the bottom edges first. Okay. And then once you get the bottom edge just kind of lifted up like so, there is one connector here and there's another connector on this side in the Sienna. So once I get this bottom lifted up, I'm going to start, go back to the top because the top is a thinner material, so it's a little more fragile. So just pop it out like so. And then watch this corner right here, because it does, because of this trim, it does go towards the rear part of the dash. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just gonna feel for that connector. One, and then there's that. So. Okay guys, so earlier I took off the center panel here and these were the two connectors I was talking about. They, so this one was facing this way, so on the top, there's a little push, and then same with the other side. So they were facing like this. And then the radials held on with four, four screws and they are, 10 mil, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and just take off these four screws, right? So always wanna protect your interior trim and all that, so just have a cloth put it below here so we don't make sure we don't mark anything or just you know this we don't damage the face of the screen or anything like that okay and there it is all right guys now that you see the wiring behind the radio here is the wiring for our v-line unit as you can see they are plug and play and we only need three of the plugs from behind the radio so let's go ahead and let me show you which ones they are. They're going to be this one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect them first. So just a little tab on top, you have to push it. And then all right, just wiggle it a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to plug it into the corresponding ones. I'll just start out with this one since it's my hands. So just 
one. Oh, did I get the right one? Oh, oh yeah, there it is. This one. And then let's go back to this one. Let's make sure it snaps into place. And that is. We're going to go to our next one. Okay. And then the final piece. Okay, there's that is. So I'm just gonna tuck the radio back in because before I finish this assembly, of course I'm gonna install the V-Line unit in our glove box, but I just wanna make sure everything works. So I'm just gonna carefully not to pinch any cables or anything like that, just try to get it to sit back in here, like so. so it can just rest in there. All right, we have the wiring connected behind the radio for a V-Line. So now, now I'm going to go ahead and just connect the two plugs for the V-Line, one for the video and one for the power. So that's one. And here's the other one. All right, let's turn it on, see what happens. All right, that's our V-Line loading. All right, there it is. That's the main menu of V-Line. Settings. Awesome, looks good. So there it is, guys. That is V-Line in a 2017 Toyota Sienna SE. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this installation. We're gonna mount this in the glove box and the reverse and you know installation process to put all the panels back together there you have it